takes him a long time to finish that, I tell you. <laughs> It's 12 minutes to 8 in the morning, and at 12 to 8, let's head it up to Dubbo this morning, and Matthew Dickerson, good morning. He certainly wasn't thinking about radio announcers when he was finishing that song, was he? No, he wasn't, actually, when you think of it, I said there, boy, trembling in anticipation, I was, Matthew, trembling. <laughs> now, listen, uh, Thursday, hey, this is, a great, this is a great idea, we should pinch this down here. Dubbo Day is coming up on Thursday. It is indeed. Dubbo was officially gazetted a village on the 23rd of November, 1849. It was two years after we had a police lockup, but that's a whole other story. So in 1999, we celebrated our sesquicentenary. Try saying that after you have a few drinks. And in that year, we said, let's give out some awards to people that have done some great things for Dubbo, just some behind-the-scenes quiet achievers. So we gave out a bunch of awards. We called them... Dubbo Awards or Dubbo Day Awards to celebrate the Gazette of the Village. And then a couple of years after that, people said, gee, that was a nice day. That was a really nice thing that we did for people. We should do that every year. So we do it every year now. We have done for the last 20 years. So on this Thursday, 23rd of November, 2023, we've got the next range of Dubbo Day Awards we're giving out. We're out at the zoo, just a small function. There'll probably be 10 or 12 people we'll give some awards to to say thank you for making Dubbo the great place it is. Thank you for all that great work you do behind the scenes. Thank you for being part of the community. Now, it doesn't stop there, does it? Because also, Wellington, you've got a community today as well. On Wellington, Wellington this Saturday, we've got our next Meet Your Community Leaders meeting. So we do these on a regular basis in both Dubbo and in Wellington. Nowhere else in the nation, not even in Bathurst, do you have these, Kerry. This is a rare or a unique circumstance where we've got all three levels of government standing side by side in an open forum to talk to the community. So we'll have our local member for the state, we'll have our local member for the federal government, and we'll have myself and councillors and some of the senior council staff as well. And we just stand there at the Rotary Markets and we say, tell us what you want to find out, give us your issues, whatever you want, and we can't palm it off. We can't say, oh, that's not my issue. That's state government. Oh, what up? The state government member standing right beside me. So you get that situation where you've got to try and address those problems and you've got to take on some of those ideas. So I actually find them a really good day. We do them, as I say, regularly in Dubbo, regularly in Wellington, and it's just a great opportunity to hear from the community. Okay, uh, that that sounds like an interesting day for all involved. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> might be good. Hey, now listen. To, just to finish up this morning, right? The three P's. Tell me about this, yeah, and you can say it. So let's let's do it. Yeah. Radio. Well, we've okay. had some problems with people putting other stuff down the toilet. We're talking about wipes, sanitary products, cotton buds, a whole range of things people are putting down the toilet. And that presents a bit of a problem for us even before it gets to our sewage treatment plant because all sewage treatment systems are gravity fed. And so you haven't got a huge amount of pressure pushing all these products through the system. And sometimes you get some blockages, which is very unpleasant. I don't need to, this is breakfast time, Kerry, I don't need to go into too much detail there. But what we're saying to our residents is, please just put down the three P's. We want Toilet paper, pee and poo. That's all we want down the toilet. Nothing else going down the toilet. If you remember that, then that's going to make it much better. And I'm sure the same would apply in Bathurst. Yeah, very much so. I think we'll use the three P's. I should say I'm... I'll make up something on that, I've got to tell you. Thank you very much indeed for that this morning, sir. Good to talk to you again and we'll catch up. Thank Thank, you. Thanks, Gary.